Need a specific cookie cutter shape, but can't find it anywhere? In this episode, we'll show you that with a few household items and less than a dollar in supplies, you too can easily make custom cookie cutters for any occasion, right here on Lori Garcia Studios. your own cookie cutters, you'll need aluminum flashing. I found mine at Home Depot. It was only a dollar for a long piece that will make several cookie cutters. You'll also need jewelry size needle nose pliers, a template, drawing, or photo in which you base your cookie cutter, scotch tape, craft scissors, a fine tip sharpie, a ruler, and twine. This is the flashing I bought. This long piece only cost a dollar. First, you'll need to flatten it with your hands. Then, line your ruler up with the edge and trace it down the entire length. Using craft scissors, cut all the way down the flashing. This may be a little tricky, but it's totally doable. Caution, the edges, especially the edge you cut, can be very sharp. Once you finish cutting the strip, inspect it for any rough edges and trim accordingly. Next, take out your template or picture. You'll want to choose a simple shape for your first cookie cutter. I've chosen this bird because it's simple and it has both curved and angled pieces, two techniques you'll need to make any cookie cutter. Next, use the twine to measure around the perimeter of the template. You'll do this to determine the amount of aluminum strip you'll need. Then take the twine and measure it against the strip. Note you'll need to make it a little bit longer than the actual perimeter because you'll need to overlap the strip when you secure the cookie cutter. Now it's time to mold the strip around the template. Find the edge that you cut and make sure it faces down towards the paper. It will be much sharper than the commercially cut edge, and you don't want to cut yourself when you make cookies. First, find the straightest edge of the perimeter of your shape. You'll want to do this because when you finish your cookie cutter and you have to overlap the ends, it's easier to do so with a straighter piece. Hold the strip to the edge of the template and slowly bend it as you go. Make sure to keep checking your strip against the template to ensure that you're keeping the right shape. Now we're getting to our first angle. Holding the strip against the template, mark it where the end of the bird starts to angle upwards. Pay attention to which direction you're going to bend it. These strips are pretty thin, and if you have to bend it back and forth, eventually it will break. Grab your needle nose pliers and clamp it along the line you just made. I found the best way to bend these strips is to do it hard and fast. It creates the best angles. Don't be shy, just bend it. And if you make a mistake, it's not a huge deal. Once you've made your angle, check your cutter with your template and see if you need to make the angle wider or narrower. Here we need to make it a little bit more narrow. After you get it to the right angle, you may actually want to crimp it a little bit to get it just right. Measure your cutter against your template again and start curving the strip up the bird's back. Continue on till you finish its head.
Once you finish the bird's head, you're coming up to another sharp angle for the beak. Like the first angle, make sure to mark the cutter with a marker. Place the needle nose pliers again at the marking and make a nice sharp bend. Compare it again to your template and make any adjustments. You'll make another two angles to finish the beak. Now that you're getting close to finishing, it begins to be a little tricky to get your cutter to match up in all the parts of the template. Don't worry, once you've completed your cookie cutter, you'll be able to fine tune it. When you've completely gone around your template, you're almost done. Make sure to continue past the beginning about a quarter of an inch. Fastening your cookie cutter is pretty easy. All you need to do is line up the edges and place a piece of scotch tape around the seam. You may be thinking, really? Scotch tape? But experts agree that the scotch tape will hold up and is even washable. Besides, if you ever do need to replace the tape, well, that's an easy fix. And there you have it, a cookie cutter you made all by yourself. You'll love being able to create any cookie cutter you want on a whim. See how far your imagination takes you. Until next time, I'm Lori, and this is Lori Garcia Studios.